Where, what's this hike called? Where are we at? Picacho, Cerro Picacho. Picacho. We got the Laguna behind us, Laguna de San Carlos. We can see all the way to Panama City. And how many days have we been hiking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, it's only been an hour. <laughs> Let's go. All right, good morning. Welcome to episode two. So happy to have you back. If this is your first time joining us, this is the Do Panama Travel Blog. We're headed across the country, or should I say, I'm headed across the country, but I'm meeting up with awesome people. Like this morning, I'm headed out right now to go meet up with Kevin O'Brien, Barefoot Panama. They do all kinds of great tours throughout the country, and uh, I have always been impressed by not only the tours they take you on, but by the guides, you know. They have very informative guides with tons of history and awesome facts. Uh, whether it's family or friends coming into Panama, we've always had a great time and uh, I highly recommend Barefoot Panama. So I got set up with a, with a hike with them this morning and uh, we're going to get all the details on that when we see Kevin. Uh, with, uh, he's the owner of Barefoot Panama. So, but I really quickly just wanted to say hello. I'm here in Playa Blanca. This is the only night, last night I got here, this is the only night that I will be sleeping at a condo. The rest of the nights I'm in fancy and fun in unique hotels along the way through the country. So um, really looking forward to checking all of those places out throughout the shows. But I just wanted to mention real quick, since we are in the condo and people are looking to move here and that's what Do Panama is all about is helping people move to Panama, you know, like uh, this is what we do. And that's the, like, the biggest pool in Central America right behind me. Pretty cool. Ah! But anyways, I just wanted to mention, you know, there's been a lot of changes with visas and permanent residencies. So if you're, if you're interested, if you've been looking into Panama and you want to get the lowdown on what is going on, how do I do it, what's the process now, um, please reach out. Austin at DoPanama.com. We work with the best attorneys in the country, the best real estate agents, the best insurers. You know, that's our goal. Our goal is to make sure you are connected with the right people. And uh, it's very, very important to me. I just love helping people, uh, whether it's finding an awesome bed and breakfast or an amazing restaurant or a cool tr a tour uh, through the magazine or, again, do Panama with our relocation services. So reach out to us, guys. We're going to get on the road. I'm going to go check out Kevin O'Brien. Let's go get some adventure on. We'll see you guys out there. Guys, as you can see, we are on top of a mountain. And uh, as you can probably also see, I'm out of breath and freaking beat like a wet rag. But I got my friend Kevin O'Brien, Barefoot Panama. He's the uh, tour operator taking us out on this adventure today. And as I mentioned this morning, just an amazing uh, group of guides. You know, sometimes it's not just about the tour, but it's about who's taking you on the tour. So I wanted to ask uh, Kevin just a couple questions, kind of let you guys out there watching this uh, get familiar with him um, and why he does what he does, because obviously there's passion involved in climbing mountains. <laughs> He's just, it's fun, bro, it's fun, it's fun, but I'm not gonna do it every day. Um, so talk to me, how did you get into this business? Um, passion for travel from the, from the beginning, back in the early days in college, kind of a weekend warrior. Used to head up to the White Mountains in New Hampshire. And then, uh, yeah, after graduating, worked on an island down in South Carolina and made enough money to go cross country in the winter. Did a lot of ice climbing and, and winter backpacking and um, came home broke. And <laughs> I was telling a story about all the places that I had been and it was overheard by um, somebody that asked me if I wanted to be a tour guide. And, uh, awesome. That was how that started. Yeah. That's cool, man. And then, how long have you been in Panama and how long has Barefoot Panama been around? Well, I started coming to Panama because um, it was the end of the road on a tour that I ran from Alaska to Panama. Four and a half month trip through seven countries back in 2002. So I was in Panama for a month or two. 
uh, for about five years before moving here full time in 2007. And um, wow. sort of the idea of Barefoot Panama was born then. Yeah, of course. And the paperwork takes a little longer, but we've been around <laughs> basically for 20 years here in Panama. Oh man, I love it. I love it. Now, obviously you have lots of great tours and anyone out there that's thinking about coming to Panama, whether it's to relocate or you're coming just for an adventure or a vacation, definitely want to check out their website, www.barefootpanama.com, right? Absolutely. All right, just want to make sure I got that right. Follow <laughs> them on Facebook, follow them on Instagram. Um, also, just wanted to ask you, you know, obviously you have a lot of great tours, but uh, what are some of your more popular tours? Like, what are two of your, your most popular tours amongst your guests? Probably the most popular tour is um, getting in to see the wildlife and uh and the culture of panama our monkey island indian village tour that would probably be the most popular tour and uh post covid days things have changed um people are more outdoorsy now which is what brought us up this mountain today so less city tour and more outdoor adventure stuff um i can't wait till my cross-country trip is the most popular tour because that gets us out into the best parts of panama the places that people don't go that's awesome yeah i have to say you know you brought up the monkey island uh Indian Village tour. I've been on that like seven times. <laughs> it doesn't get old. It I've is been on it more. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's incredible. And anytime I have someone special coming to town, a friend, a family member, or a client uh, that is interested in the culture, um, wanting to see four species of monkeys, maybe see a caiman or an alligator, go through the what do you call it, the Panama Canal. You know, it's like such a cool tour. So yeah, they got lots of great tours. If you're coming to Panama. Check them out. Thanks again, Kevin, for uh, taking me up here on this beautiful hike. I mean, where, what's this hike called? Where are we at? Picacho, Cerro Picacho. Picacho. We got the Laguna behind us, Laguna de San Carlos. We can see all the way to Panama City. And how many days have we been hiking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, it's only been an hour. <laughs> yeah, from the Azuelo Peninsula to Panama City, the views here are absolutely incredible. Yeah, guys, this is incredible. Life changing, breathtaking mountain ranges everywhere green nature if you like greenery you're gonna love this stuff all right guys we're gonna head back down we're, are we gonna go check out a lake or something absolutely awesome we're gonna go check out a lake we'll jump back on with you then all right guys so that was awesome again here with barefoot panama Dude, do you see all this mud? I got freaking mud all over my hat, my shorts, my shoes. I'm filthy, but I'm feeling good, and it was a good hike. So, real quick again, Kevin O'Brien, give us the lowdown. 30 mile hike, what was it? A couple days worth. Yeah, a couple, couple days. days. <laughs> so, what, what, really, a kilometer maybe? Yeah, let's call it a mile. A mile? <laughs> so, it's about a mile hike, about an hour up, 30 minutes down, 45 minutes down. I, I mean, just a really great way to enjoy your morning or your afternoon, so I highly recommend it. Then you finish up here at this beautiful lake, and then of course the mountaintops that you hike to. We hiked to that one, huh? Yeah. One. yeah. Over there, so. Yeah, guys, again, thanks to Kevin O'Brien with Barefoot. All right, my beautiful people. <laughs> okay, another 500 magazines have been distributed from Buena Ventura all the way through Coronado. Feeling good, feeling happy. Now, we're headed over to the San Carlos Surf Resort. Super excited to get checked into this beautiful beachfront hotel. And, uh, Man, yeah, I need a nice warm shower after that big, massive, crazy hike today. Definitely feeling it. But uh, again, it was probably one of the coolest things I have done in a long time. So yeah, we're headed over to the hotel, get cleaned up, and then uh, on to Magner Lodge for dinner. We'll see you guys over there. Till then, ciao. All right, guys, so <laughs> would you look at that, huh? Yep, we are here, San Carlos Surf Resort. This is a magical place, right on the ocean. Birds flying in the background. Other guests over there enjoying some afternoon mimosas. 
Now, San Carlos Surf Resort obviously is a hotel. They have a lot of uh, different uh, packages. You know, I almost want to call this an adventure hotel. They love helping their guests enjoy different adventures, whether it's going up to El Valle or doing an intense surf trip around the country. They do everything, you know. They'll pick you up at the airport in, in Panama City. If you don't want to bring your surfboard from the United States and because it costs too much or you don't want to break it, they got, I mean, look at how many different options they got. Something for everyone here. The rooms are just amazing. Ping pong, you got a bar. They serve breakfast and dinner. Now, I gotta mention, you know, they only serve hotel guests. So, you know, 12 people, 12 guests max at this hotel. And, um, you know, it's just, it's secluded. It's uh, very private and they are super focused on their guests. So, if this is something you're looking in, to get into, I'd highly recommend it. Oh my goodness. Yep, time to get cleaned up and uh, get ready to go over and see our friends at Magner Lodge, get a little dinner, have a little chit chat, hang out with some friends. You know, that's one thing about this area is that there's just such a cool expat community, you know? It's just there's a lot of like-minded individuals, you know, those people that said, hey, you know what, living back home just isn't working for me. I want more adventure. And they moved down here to Panama or over to Panama, I guess, depending if uh, you're coming from Europe. But we see a lot of Northern Americans coming to Panama, both from the United States and Canada. So, as you know, do Panama, we love helping people complete their mission and do it the correct way with the best realtors, with the best attorneys, with the best insurance brokers. So if we can help you, please allow us to do that. You can get all that information at dopanama.com. Guys, I'm exhausted. That hike today was just intense, oh my goodness. But uh, I'm feeling successful. I'm feeling amazing about reaching the top of that peak today. So. Thank you again for tuning in. Remember guys, follow us on YouTube. That's Do Panama on YouTube. Make sure to hit that subscription button and that notification bell. Also, follow us on Facebook, dopanama.com on Facebook. We also have a dopanama.com visitor blog. Now, if you're thinking about moving to Panama or traveling to Panama, that visitor blog is really cool because there's over 5,000 members of the community in there. So. You can get a lot of different perspectives and information, so make sure you get into that group. And then of course, on Instagram, do Panama Relocation. So, all kinds of stuff out there on the social media, yes, for you all. Guys, again, it's time for me to get cleaned up, get over and uh, have some good grubbing over at Magner Lodge. guys we are here at Magner Lodge I'm super super excited good friend Yvonne Marquez my bro thank you for the invite this spread looks amazing thank you I mean we're gonna get into the craft beer in a little bit but first and, and the food in the food I want to talk yeah. about the food too but first I want to talk about why did you open up this place the way you did I mean it's just such a creative incredible space. I know you've had live music here. Mm -hmm. uh, you have four rooms and then the restaurant is just incredible. Talk to us about the why. I was like uh, into the surfing and skateboarding industry. I was like, I, I used to own like a surf shop and skate shop for like 15 years in Panama. We're the pioneers and a lot of stuff that was done in Panama. And then, I don't know, after a while you get bored of doing the same thing over and over. So it was a way to like keep the lifestyle, the surfing lifestyle, that connected to the beach, and uh, just like this was like a like an extension of what I was doing like during all that time. Uh -huh. That's awesome. And are you a surfer? Yeah. 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 So there's some good surf in this area. Yeah, there's a lot of good surf over here. I mean, like uh, all this area, like anywhere between like Chame to Corona, there's like tons of surf spots over here. Not as consistent as Benau or Santa Catalina or Cambutal, but we get like good surf over here. Good awesome. Surf, uh -huh. Awesome. Okay. 
So, I want to talk about the food, but I know you guys are super, super known for your craft beer. Yep. And you don't even serve like regular beers. It's no, only craft beer. No, no commercial beer at all. If you ask for a Balboa, you're in the wrong spot. We I love got, it. We only got like, if you're gonna drink Support water, local, baby, support local. Yeah, if you're gonna drink water, you can have it from the tap. <laughs> we have only got like good stuff over here. Oh, uh, I like to hear it, I like to hear it. So yeah, if you guys want to check out their craft beers, uh, on your Instagram, on your Facebook, yeah. what's the best the, place? Both places, Instagram and uh, Facebook. And the other thing is like we not only with the support of microbreweries, we support like the little local microbreweries. For example, this is an IPA from La Stala Brewing Company. They started like two years ago or something, and they made some incredible beers. And we also have this is Salsi Puez, another microbrewery from Panama. They have a couple years, but Salsi Puez has like a bunch of medals. They got like on different awards at like internationals. So every time we see like a microbrewery that's doing like really good, that's winning awards and medals, immediately we work with them. It's not, you don't have to be huge. It's like, I mean, to make Well, I beer. like the local, it's a local aspect yeah, too. Yeah, and it's 100, the microbreweries in Panama is the only 100% local companies. Because all the commercial stuff are owned by a bigger company outside. Like, but, so I don't want to mention names, but all of the, course, of course, the of two course. main brands in Panama, they're owned by international companies. So whenever you buy something from them, the money goes out of the country. Like microbreweries like Las Tablas, it's a small brewery in Las Tablas. The money stays in Las Tablas. You're giving them more, like jobs of to like, people in Las Tablas. Man, bless bro, big vibes going on. So yeah, when you come to Magnar Lodge, make sure to get craft beer because we're supporting the local craft beer market and you know, all of us at the Restaurant Travel Magazine, we're big on supporting local restaurants, local breweries, local hotels. You know, we are Panama. This is Panama, and this is some awesome, and you know, this this spread, obviously this is a burger. Yeah. What is this? Jalapeno bites. Jalapeno bites, these look freaking amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna have to try one of those. Yeah, that's my favorite ones. I think I'm eating the whole box by myself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but, you know, this is some traditional. I mean, obviously a lot of you out there probably seen a burger, you've seen coolie yeah. fries, but let's talk about this fried fish. The I didn't see this till I came to Panama, bro. Yeah, the fried fish is kind of like the, very traditional dish from Panama. Everybody that comes to Panama, they want to eat like a fried fish with patacones and a salad. And we have the lady that makes it over here. She's 100% from San Carlos. So he, she knows the flavor for what is like a Panamanian fried fish. So that fried fish looks amazing. Okay. And you can take the tail yeah. and it's like a chip. <laughs> it's so yeah. awesome. I haven't done this since I came to Panama, guys. So come over to Magnar Lodge, check him out on Facebook. Check them out on Instagram. Sorry. Ooh, that's <laughs> hot. <clears throat> Check them out in the restaurant magazine. Oh my God. Oh, that's a jalapeno. <laughs> yeah, those are good. My goodness, that got me good. But yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm a little messed up from jalapenos. Tastes good. Tastes awesome. We'll see you guys <laughs> later on. Have a beautiful night. Bright and early tomorrow, we're going hiking, and we'll see you then. Well, that was an incredible day. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you again next Wednesday here on the Do Panama Visitor Blog. I'm going to get some shut-eye. Got a big day tomorrow. Going to be uh, headed out to El Valle. Go hike the Sleeping Indian. It's something I've wanted to do forever. And then uh, we're going to hightail it over to Petasi. So new region of Panama tomorrow afternoon. Definitely want to check out the next episode next Wednesday, guys. Until then, ciao.